Hi, William here again and thank you for joining me. Now, uh, at the end of last week's video I mentioned that I had been giving an interesting piece of timber by Rob Hall. Um, and uh, anyway, it got cut in half, so I've actually got two pieces now. Now, having taken a closer look at this wood over the last uh, day or so, I uh, can only uh, assume that it's actually spalted English boxwood. It is extremely dense, extremely hard, um, but interestingly figured uh, at the same time. Uh, so next, I have to think, what uh, are we going to do with these? Oi! What's up then? So what are we going to do with these then? Ah, I thought we would do, uh, or turn, a couple of small artistic objects. You know, like the thing like, okay, you've all the half sounds, sounds good. Sounds, you know, we don't have any olive wood like he does, but we've got this boxwood almost as good. Okay? Okay, having spent a little bit of time uh, searching the internet for some interesting designs, uh, you were right, Yuval does have some uh, interesting pieces and we'll try and do something like that. Now, if we want to do some emerging pieces, we're going to need uh, some section of the wood where the bark is still intact. Now on one piece it's not bad, on the other piece almost uh, non-existent. But of course we can take some of the bark off and rebuild it as we're going along and that's what we're going to have to do. So first of all I'm going to strip off uh, the parts of the bark uh, off one piece so that we can uh, use them on the other piece. Okay, I've collected some bark off of the pieces to put aside to make the uh, natural edge at the bottom and we'll kick off with the goblet. Now, I'll be using my uh, Record Power DML320 for this piece and donning my uh, bone dome uh, to keep the bits of bark out of my face. Okay, just squaring the ends off here and putting a tenon on the bottom uh, so I can change over to my uh, Novachuk. Okay, just getting it uh, trued up here with a spindle gouge and it uh, doesn't take me long to realise that this piece of wood is extremely hard indeed. And that's despite the fact that the spindle gauge has been freshly sharpened. Okay, so just marking out here uh, the extent of the bowl uh, and the stem of the goblet. Now I uh, have a variety of spindle gouges by uh, Record Power, by Sorby and by uh, Axminster Tools and uh, ironically the cheaper end of the market, uh, the Axminster Tools gouge, uh, I seem to be getting the best results from. Now I think this has got more to do with the profile of the gouges rather than the manufacturer. Now I have the uh, outside of the piece uh, roughly profiled. I want to excavate the bowl before I go any further uh, to reduce the chances of snapping it off at the stem. So I'll kick off that process by drilling a pilot hole with a 25mm uh, force and a bit. Now I'll complete the excavation of this piece using um, the Simon Hope uh, mini hollowing tools. Uh, this consists of a 6mm a straight cutter and a 6mm swan neck tool. So at this stage I decided to finish the inside of the bowl again to reduce the chances of damage when the stem is thinner. So my uh, preferred finish as always is going to be 
to down through the grits to 240, uh, two coats of sanding sealer, a Yorkshire grit, Yorkshire grit microfine, Hampshire sheen high gloss and Hampshire sheen microcrystalline wax. So with the bowl completed, I'm just going to use a rubber ball between the uh, end of the cup and the tail stock to add a bit of security while I finish off the outside of the piece. Now, uh, this boxwood is not the hardest wood I've ever turned, having had a go at lignum vitae, but certainly it's got the most spalting I've ever seen in this uh, type of wood. Now here I'm just getting a reasonably uh, sharp relief on the stem using a Hamlet quarter inch skew. At least I think that's what it is. So just going through the grits here, uh, 320 and 240, and I'll do the final polishing after I've finished the base. Okay, here I'm just uh, replacing the bark, which um, came off during turning or I took off at the beginning, uh, as I wanted to have a natural effect at the base. Right, so once I've repopulated the base with the uh, bark, I just need now to uh, spin up the lathe and trim it off uh, at the top and the bottom. So after the sanding sealer, uh, now just going uh, to apply some Hampshire Sheen high gloss and then some Hampshire Sheen uh, microcrystalline wax. Now that's given a truly amazing finish on this very hard uh, and spalted wood. And here I'm just using a, a suede shoe brush to brush out the bits of uh, paper that got stuck in the bark. So I'm going to err uh, on the side of safety and part this uh, piece off by hand. Okay, so I'm just going to now to uh, sand the base flat and apply a couple of coats of sanding sealer uh, just to make the base look nice. Okay, that's me finished. What's going on over there then, if anything? Well, I've nearly finished. Well, that's a surprise. Hang well, on, you haven't started. What I meant was, I nearly finished watching Yuval's videos. Well, 34 of them anyway. Now, the various processes in uh, turning the second piece are very similar to the first piece so rather than make uh, repetitive comments I'm going to put up some captions at the relevant points and play you some lovely background music.
piece done now. Now where has he gone? Okay if you're finished let's have it over here. Here you go, okay. So uh, there we are then. Uh, the two finished trinkets in uh, spalted uh, boxwood. Now my thanks uh, again to Rob Hall for uh, generously uh, gifting me the wood and also to Yuval Lahav uh, for his creative inspiration um, which led to the creation of these two items. Now, I do believe that this is possibly one of the best examples that I produce of the great relationship that Yorkshire Grit and Hampshire Sheen range of products uh, have in working together. It's, uh, it's not possible for you obviously to see closely or to feel these two pieces, uh, but it's like polished glass to be honest. So, okay, uh, thank you all very much for joining us, and I hope you found this video uh, interesting and informative. So, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. So next week then, I'm either going to tackle this rather large and lump of interesting uh, burr brown oak, or I'm going to do something with this piece of monkey puzzle. Oh!